Hello students, welcome to Vyas Certification Quota. In this series of NCRT discussion, it is time to continue further with Mathematics Class 11th and we are dealing with the chapter straight lines. It is time to deal with the miscellaneous exercise and miscellaneous exercise as, as we all know has questions from all the concepts covered in the chapter and some very interesting questions have been covered in this particular exercise over here of this chapter number 10 straight lines. So let's begin with the first question and understand the concepts along with discussion of the solutions. Let's begin with the first one. The first question says find the values of k for which the line this okay the line is given in terms of a parameter k and we are supposed to find the values of k for which the line is parallel to x-axis parallel to y-axis or passing through the origin. Now, let's see, let's see, how will we solve this one? So, for solving this question, what are we supposed to do? What does a line parallel to x-axis look like? What does a line parallel to the x-axis look like? Let's take a look at that line first of all. A line which is parallel to the x-axis, this kind of a line, will have equation y is equal to a, something of this sort, right? If you observe, coefficient of x is there any term of x in this? No. Coefficient of x is simply 0. That's the condition which we can simply apply to get a line parallel to the x-axis. Right. Similarly, for a line parallel to the y-axis, this is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is origin. For a line parallel to x-axis, the equation will be x equal to b of this sort. Right. And if you observe, if you observe, right, if you compare this with ax plus by plus c equals 0, a general equation of a straight line, you observe that yes, there is a term of x, yes, there is a constant term, but there is no term of y implies that coefficient of y is simply 0. This is what you can observe. That is something which you can observe, right? Another thing, we are supposed to find line passing through the origin. If a line passes through origin, it will be look like this, right? So it will pass through the point 0, 0. Okay, if the line passes through the point 0, 0, what happens to the equation? If you observe, this is 0, this is 0, therefore this also becomes 0. That is constant term, you can directly say that constant term is equal to 0. The line, the equation of the line will look like this, y is equal to mx. We have derived this equation in one of the exercises, one of the questions of exercises, that line passing through origin having slope m looks like this, y is equal to mx. Right, so here the constant term is 0. For line parallel to x-axis, coefficient of x is 0. For line parallel to the y-axis, coefficient of y is 0. These are the conditions that you can apply. Can you use any other approach as well? Yes, for lines parallel to the x-axis, you can also say that the slope of the line is 0. That's another idea which you can follow. That slope of the line is 0. And in this case, you can say that um, slope is not defined for that matter. Right. So, therein the condition will be slightly, slightly difficult, that's it. But, the, but at the end of the day, you will get the same condition using that approach, the idea of slope also. Okay, so let's apply these conditions one by one. For part A, what do we need? Line parallel to the x-axis, okay. The equation of line is k minus 3. Just a minute, let's get rid of this. Let's first write the equation of line. We have k minus 3 times x okay minus 4 minus k square times y and plus k square minus 7k plus 6 is equal to 0. Now for part a what do we need? Line is parallel to x axis. If the line is parallel to x axis therefore coefficient of x will be 0. Implies k minus 3 equals 0 which tells me that k will be equal to 3. That's the answer for this part A. Right? A simple approach, yes. Next, for B, what do we have? We want line parallel to the y-axis. For line parallel to the y-axis, this is equation. Therefore, coefficient of y will be 0. Okay. Coefficient of y equals 0 and that tells me that okay, 4 minus k square will be 0 or that tells me k square equals 4 which gives me k equals plus or minus 2. There are two possible values of k plus 2 or minus 2. What about part c? For the part c, for a line passing through origin, we can simply say that constant term will be 0. If constant term is 0, which is the, what is the constant term over here? This is the constant term. So that tells me that k square minus 7k plus 6 is equal to 0. If you observe the roots are 
वन ऑफ द रूट एज वन अदर इज सिक्स के इक्वल्स वन एंड के इज इक्वल टू सिक्स दो ज्यादा पॉसिबल वैल्यूज दिस इज द आंसर फॉर द थर्ड पार्ट दिस इज द आंसर फॉर द सेकेंड पार्ट एंड दैट इज अ कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओवर हेयर